In fact, it's the tailored pieces in women's wardrobe in the 1890s that is so terribly distinct. There is a huge range of masculine tailored options for women, and not surprisingly, there are a lot of opinions about this as well. There's concerns over women being more mannish than they should be, more masculine, wearing men's clothing, what is that going to lead to next? And it does tie in a lot with the imagery that we expect to see when it comes to women's suffrage and other women's rights. So there's definitely a connection between the more tailored style for women as well as the new woman, modern woman, suffragette, whatever it may be. And that association does continue for quite a few years, but suits find their way into everyday wardrobes for so many women, even for those that aren't participating in that type of culture. It just becomes a practical and comfortable fashion item that allows women a lot more freedom of movement and a lot less weight and everything else that goes with it. 